What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and I'm on Let's World, let's play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we defeated the second last gym in the freaking game. In this episode, we're gonna start off by using these items I have. Uh, let's use you on Miles, I guess. Probably a rare candy is actually kind of bad because they don't boost certain stats or something. Uh, EVs. How the heck EVs work? I have no clue. We're actually gonna teach Solar Beam. This might be a dumb idea, but. See, I feel like Solar Beam might only be worth it if you if you get the stab on it. The same type uh, move bonus or whatever the heck it's called. I know stab stands for same type animal basics. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get rid of light screen, I guess. But wait, that's not all. If you call now. You will, cause let's let's be honest. I'm never gonna use. I never use stat boosting like things like that ever. Maybe that's a contributing factor to why I never beat Pokemon before in my life. But we're also gonna teach Miles. Oh, should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Cause I just realized everyone can learn it. So is it really? Should I be teaching him this? But yeah, you know what? We should be. <laughs> yes. And we are gonna give him. There we go. Boom, shakalaka. Toxic. He learned the toxic, and there we go. I guess for now, that's Mr. Mime's completed moveset. That might be what I finish off the game with. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, anyways. In this episode, we're going to be continuing onto the river. Uh, yes. Let's surf. And I guess we're bringing Pikachu out front again. I mean, he's all freaking 45. But he needs these levels. Let's face it, Pikachu freaking sucks in this game. <laughs> the only reason I have him with me is because he follows me around and it's adorable. Um, I believe... Have I fought you? Oh, I haven't fought you yet. Ah! Feel the sun and the winds and the rays and the braze and the stupid stoops. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this is a swimmer! Um, he has freaking... I already talked about swimmers. Uh, Poliwhirl. Yeah, there's Poliwhirl and there's Poliwrath. See, in the last episode I was like... Uh, Pol... Poliwag has three evolutions, and I was like, there's Poliwrath, and then there's one more, but I don't remember the name, but it's Poliwhirl. It's Poliwhirl. There he is. Yeah, Pikachu's technically my strongest Pokemon right now. When I say tech, I don't know why I say technically for, he just straight up is my strongest Pokemon. Maybe I should be using, like, I don't know, Bunny Foo or something. He's pretty low, and he can probably take everything out in one hit as well. Maybe I should just do that. Plus, it is pretty easy to train him just because of Thrash, because all you gotta do is choose the move once, and that takes away one more text box. Maybe even more. Let's use Thrash over and over and over again. I know I do get confused, but you know, it still works out somehow in the long run. You take the long run and I'll take the short run. That's not, that's not the song at all. Okay. Level 46? Oh, I thought I was going to maybe get level 46. Uh, Yo, I lost! Yeah, Pikachu's going to probably be really helpful since I think in the Elite Four there is a water trainer. Maybe? I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen the Pokemon like yellow or first generation. I'm burnt, some burnt to a crisp. It's been so long since I've seen like uh, I'm beat, but I still ha okay. Ah, okay, we, this is the one guy we did fight. Okay, this path doesn't seem too big. Much like everything in this, um, all the water paths in this game are just straight lines, pretty much. So I was like, okay, that's cool, I guess. I don't know why I'm showing this battle, but I just, sometimes I just start talking. I'm in the middle of sentence. I don't feel like stopping talking, so I just end up showing these freaking battles because I don't feel like stopping talking. Stupid. All right, let's go north a bit. I always feel like I'm gonna miss something though, so I gotta go like left and oh god, dang it. Fine. You know what, game? You win. That's, you know, I did buy these super repels for a reason. Maybe I should start using them, especially because like, there's no. I can't believe this was my main training spot when I used to play this game. I caught my Pokemon at sea. Like, see, why? There's level 15s here that give like no experience at all. So it's kind of like it's okay when you get like the level 40s, but that's not very often. Starmie, Starmie looks so weird compared to like. Star you and all that, they're like all brown and they look like you know alive. This thing just looks like a stone, doesn't it? It's like it's a stone sculpture. Wow. Well, oh, I did say I'd be able to destroy everything in here, but so far that's not proving to be true. And apparently, things are super effective against me. But thankfully, I have super awesome defense mode. Water gun. I considered teaching water gun to Gyarados, but I didn't. No, not water gun, sorry, bubble beam. Yeah, water gun is pretty stupid, actually. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, well. Diver down! Diver down! Actually, that's more like what that was like. 
Uh, where'd you catch your Pokemon? Um, I didn't. They were given to me. Keep me company till I get a hit. Oh, I was like, what the heck are these guys? But they're fishermen. They're chubby fishermen that have probably just been sitting here for years. And see, they drink from the water. No, actually, they, they take up water and they boil it. And then they eat the fish they catch. And that's how they make a living. They just sit there forever. I mean, that's really all you need. So, why not, right? Okay, I got a feeling it's not going to end well. Ground! Is ground going to be super effective against fish? I mean, if you put a fish on ground, I would imagine it to be pretty effective, right? Am I right, my assumption? No, I'm not. It has normal damage, apparently. Um, Goldeen. Well, then. You send your gold. We had, um, the, the evolved form of Goldeen first, first. What is his name? Something King. Sea King! But he had the Goldeen second. That's kind of weird, actually. Um. Oh, he's showing your weakest Pokemon! Kids, friends, I was gonna say friends, but that, does, that doesn't really make sense in the saying I was using. That burned some time! Yes, it did. And I got over a thousand Pokemon dollars for that. Oh wait! I got a bite! Yeah! Congrats, I am proud of you. Many prouds are within me. Hey, don't scare away the fish! Oh, great! One of these moves, Clamp. Have we? I don't think we've seen this move before, though. This might be the only time we do see this move, so let's you guys show it. Oh, and let me use it this time. Great. But now, freaking Bunny Fufu is dying. Maybe I should use a potion. I do have a lot of potions in my inventory. I should probably start doing that. Sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh no, I made it. <laughs> okay, well, Max Repel. That's not what I want. Full Restore. Hyper Potion. Hyper Potion. Max potion. Hmm, let's use, I guess, the full restore. Wait, no, full restore. No, hyper potion, right? There's full heal. There's full restore. There's so many like, ah, oh, even I don't know the difference. I know I should, but I don't. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not like Tobuscus or I Justine level playing this game, right? It could be worse. At least I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. Like, seriously, a lot of times I think people, like, the mains, the very mainstream gamers, well, it's even, like, people like PewDiePie that don't really have, like, you know, really Let's Play, they just have, like, horror game, like, they fake their reactions. Even things like, to I, I hate, the one thing I hate is if a Let's Player cannot figure out what to do, and then in the next, like, the, they run out of time, so like, okay, in the next episode, I will figure out what to do. And all of a sudden, within, like, the first three seconds of the next episode, they magically figure out what to do. How did that work? Hmm, I don't know, it's not like they Googled it or anything. But it's like they pretend they don't Google it, and they, that, that's like, I hate that, because it's like you're lying to your audience. And I don't know, I always, like, because I hate that, I've always made sure to tell you guys when I look something up. Unless that's something, like, minor and that no one's gonna care about. But if it's like, you know, I don't know what a move is, I'm not gonna be like, hmm, I wonder what this move is. Then in the next episode, like, pretend I- well, I guess that'd be very obvious that, like, you know, I Google that. But, like, I don't know, that's one thing I've always hated. In, like, the Let's Play community. Not really so much in the Nintendo, um, section of, uh, Let's Playing. Because most- I know there's a lot of people in the Nintendo section of Let's Playing- well, for one, everyone's playing, like, really old games, or not really really old games, but, you know, everyone on the Nintendo, um, community plays, like, the older games. Since Nintendo doesn't really release that many games at a time, I guess. Well, I guess they do, but, I mean, like, none of the really, like, big-name games, I mean, like, Xbox and PlayStation, well, not even really PlayStation much, do they? It's more like Xbox is always releasing stuff, though. But it's like, most, most people in, like, Nintendo Let's Play Land are always, like, playing games that everyone's known for a long time and the very obvious things to do. So I guess it, it's kind of hard to compare them. But I don't know. I've always found that annoying in the Let's Play community. Ah yeah. Okay, do you say anything else cool? I like the mountains, too! That's really irrelevant and cool. What's wrong with my sw What's wrong with me swimming? Okay there, Popeye. What's wrong with me swimming? A cue ball?! Why is he out here? What?! Cue balls are weird, man. Like, what? Why, why are you here? <laughs> I'm so confused. Many confuses are within me. Alright, let's quake the earth beneath them, even though there is no earth beneath them, although there is ocean. There's OSH! I love the sound of the OH SHIT! I remember one of my friends would say that to me. He was like a fifth grade or something, and I was like, I know, he's like, I love the smell of the OH SHIT! 
I was like, yeah, me too. Because, you know, I just figured he said ocean. But no, he's like, uh, do you have any idea what I just said? I'm like, yeah, ocean. He's like, no, I said, oh, shit. And I don't know why this is a stupid story to tell you guys, but I told you guys anyways. And I'm just kind of on cruise control so far this episode. I'm just using whatever moves. Oh, great. Rap. Ah, must my torture never end. <laughs> At least, like, uh, when Cloyster used Clamp on me, that was an actually really effective move. But, no. You need to leave, sir. Get out of here. Right. Well, get out of here. Come on. There we go. I'm glad you got out of here. No. That's a cool. Well. Okay, well. We haven't. We really have, I'm surprised how little of Tentacruel we see in this game. Normally, he's a pretty, like, big player in the Pokemon's games, but not in this one, apparently. He's not really a big player, but whenever there's, like, water trainers, water Pokemon trainers, like, normally they have them. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get level 45 there. Once we get level 45, we'll swap out Pokemon. Right? Cheap shot! Yeah, well, you're a cue ball, so no one really cares. I look like what? A studded inner tube? Get lost! You do, it's true, he does. Hello, you're clearly not fishing, but let me hear your line about fishing. I got a big hole, wanna go for it? Well, he didn't see who he's fishing right now. Oh, God! Those are all magic carp. No! That took like five minutes. Darn, magic carp! Oh, I hate you. I seem to only catch magic. Yeah, that's because that's like the only Pokemon to catch. Well, if you have an old rod, you want to know if the fish are biting? Oh, you better not have another like 30 magic carp. They're gonna be so mad. Don't. Eh, eh. Ah, uh, those are all magic card but No, they're seeking. Okay, that's at least some differences here. Yay, hey, level 45 and we defeat the fisherman. Dang! Good, because I don't think Bunny Fufu is going to be able to take much more abuse. Abuse. I can't catch anything good. Good! Your freaking Pokemon stink of poop. Of poop! Okay, we really need to start using... Kiwi more. He's level 42. Again, even like Steven, you know what? We should probably be using Miles, to be honest. But Miles hasn't really seemed too effective against the water Pokemon here. So, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. And it seems we are getting to the end of this path. Is there anybody over here? No, there is not. I like how I just turn into a seal. Like, I'm, it's not, a, not even as if I'm riding one. I just turn into one. I don't freaking know. Oh, you can go up there. What's in, I wonder what's in this grass. Anything cool? Anything coolio? Where did you get to that path over there? It's always been something about like unaccessible areas of the games that have always interested me. It's like, what is beyond this fence? I mean, obviously it goes on for a little bit and then it just turns into a blank screen. But still, it's like, you know, it's like the mind just wants to look at it. Especially that flower field. Oh yeah, we had repel. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, um, there's probably not going to be anything interesting here, but it's worth- Oh, is this going to be like level 5? I don't know, it's all fit. Well, that's still pretty weak. Hey, it's. Well, I was gonna say your big brother, but no, that's not true at all. So, this is a Spiro's big brother. Completely different species. I wonder if Pidgey's like Pigeon. Pidgey Pigeon? I don't know. It kind of seems like that's what it would be. Okay, well, there's obviously nothing in here. I thought maybe there'd be cool Pokemon. This is kind of like a reserved area. But no, I th if I recall, we have come full circle! Technology is incredible! You can now store and recall items of Pokemon as of data via BC. Sorry, I went to look down my tower for a second to make sure we have time. Yeah, so we're back to Professor Oak's Pokemon Lab. Aww. Probably can fight Professor Oak. Um, I was it was a crest that I do that. I don't think we're gonna be able to. <laughs> Good see because it's really complicated and I think because I've like oh. The completion is 104 Pokemon seen, 28 Pokemon owned. Wow. You still need more Pokemon trying to catch other species. <laughs> that jingle. I don't think you get anything if you do actually get, collect all the Pokemon in this game. Now, the late trainers of Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokemon and see how you rate as a trainer. Pokemon League H HQ Indigo Plateau. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. P.S. Professor Oak, please visit us. <laughs> 
I was like, where the heck is the Pokemon League? But no, it's a very, it's at the, it's near Verity, and I'm stupid. How do you speak? How does one speak? Let's go see how mom is doing. We haven't seen her mom in forever. What's this sign say? Shades of your journey await. Oh. It's a good thing we started here, otherwise, like, this is our starting time, otherwise, that wouldn't have made much sense. Ash, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. Oh, yeah, I forgot she heals you. That's awesome. Aw, mom's full of love. Um, your Pokemon are looking great. Great! Okay, you really don't say anything else. I thought maybe just because I never talked to you before, I thought maybe she, like I had to go through that line of text before she would say anything else, but no, apparently she doesn't say anything. Well, that's really boring. Huh. Let's move on. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Better go, too. I, don't, I think this is a reference to something, too. Or did I say that? That might have been the same. I thought it maybe said something different compared to what it did at the beginning of the game, but actually it might have said the same thing and I forget. Uh, no, I guess there's nothing else here for us. That's sad. Well, at least we got to see our room. Oh, it's almost sad to be here. This music. I love this music. <laughs> Last time we were here, this is, I read this now being so much more stretched out than it was before. It stretched out like that instead of like this. <laughs> Spending time with your Pokemon makes them. Does no one like you know like me here or something? No one's like, oh my god, it's Ash. I haven't seen you forever. Oh my god, sadness, tears and sadness. Well, apparently not. Okay, well we could just walk up normally, but pff, we can fly now. Why the heck would we do that? Am I right? Am I right? We actually want to go to Viridian next and this take on our last gym leader. Actually, it is here, right? I think so. There's a Mart. The Pokemon! The Pokemon! If you guys remember, there was one more gym that was actually closed down that we couldn't take on. And that gym is actually, I think, over here. Uh, here we go. Viridian City Pokemon Gym. I remember my first time playing, it took me forever to find this. Viridian Gym's leader has returned. Or, returned. Not really has returned. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, in the next episode. We take on the 8th and final gym. This looks kind of familiar, actually. <laughs> Yo, Chapman Macon! Even I don't know of Radiant Leader's identity, this will be the toughest of all gym leaders. Oh, God. Hey, that, the trainers, you're a light ground type Pokemon. Interesting. Okay. Well, I gave you guys a sneak peek. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.